Thank you for stopping by the Blue Manatee Press booth at the U.S. Book Show, brought to you by Publishers Weekly. My name is Amy Dean, and I am the Editorial and Marketing Director for Blue Manatee Press. I can't wait to share with you our new titles. Blue Manatee Press was founded in 2011 with a mission to create meaningful, enduring books that help bring grown-ups and children together. Led by a pediatrician, our team consists of experts in child development and children's literature. We publish original children's books that utilize a variety of artistic media and strive to create stories that are both educational and fun, with an emphasis on turning off screens and experiencing the world through hands-on creative play. You can learn more at our website, bluemantypress.com. Blue Manatee Press is distributed by Independent Publishers Group, and our books are available through wholesalers nationwide. Our titles and the IPG catalog are viewable on Edelweiss. You can see here for complete IPG ordering details. First, I'd like to share with you a few titles from this past March and April, in case you may have missed them. Up first, we have Baby Unplugged Make, written by Dr. John Hutton and illustrated by Christina Brown. Baby Unplugged Make joins our Baby Unplugged board book series and is intended for ages 0 to 3. Make with boxes, sticks, and string. Imagination can make anything. Children learn best through real experiences, real people, and exploring the real world. Baby Unplugged Make is the newest title in the Baby Unplugged series, encouraging families to limit screen time and be curious, creative, and eager to learn more about the world around them. Throughout this book, you'll see delightful, fun illustrations showing lots of kids and a wide cast of characters doing all kinds of different things like making pictures, painting, making cookies, gardening, as you see here in this delightful scene. Uh, make is really just all the ways that a person can be creative and make at home. Baby Unplugged Make taps into the making it or DIY culture that many families are drawn to, as well as the encouragement to be screen free. We have been offering make themed social media challenges. For example, a box challenge, asking families to share their best box creations, a chalk art challenge, you get the idea. We've created a downloadable badge coloring sheet, letting each maker color in their badge once the challenge is complete. You can find all of these resources at our website. Little Sleepy Solar System, written by Dr. John Hutton and illustrated by Doug Cinco, is a board book intended for ages zero to three, and in fact was an IPG top shelf title. Little Sleepy Solar System serves as a primer companion to the picture book Sleepy Solar System. This board book, rich in concepts such as counting, colors, opposites, and more, is perfect for our youngest astronomers. I'd like to take a second and point out just how adorable these illustrations are. I don't know how clearly it comes across on the screen, but the artwork is made to almost look like quilted material uh, with fun patterns, and I just love the texture of the scarves and hats on our little colds. Uh, planets there. Um, and as you see, the planets just could not be more fun with all of their personalities. So we created a memory matching game with these adorable planets, which is available as a printable resource on our website. I Miss Your Sunny Smile is a board book written by Deb Adamson and illustrated by Ann Zemanski. I miss your sunny smile. How'd you lose it? Where'd it go? Let's go searching for a while. Having a bad day is never fun, but it can be especially difficult for young children to understand that sad feelings are temporary. Through gentle rhymes and warm illustrations, we see a mother helping her son find his smile again. This sweet and soothing board book is already receiving rave reviews from readers. And Sean Aker, happiness researcher and New York Times bestselling author of Before Happiness says, Deb Adamson's delightful book reminds kids that after a while, there is always a smile. And I think we can all relate to that right now. Sleepy Bee, written by Dr. John Hutton and illustrated by Sandra Gross, 
uh, is part of our Expanding Pollinator series. This one is actually a re-release and features brand new artwork throughout the entire book and will serve as a companion title to our Mama Monarch book that released last spring, as well as our Mr. Moth book that I'll be talking about later in the presentation. Sleepy Bee greets her day with a yawn. So much to do! From sunrise to sunset, she visits fields of strawberries, sunflowers, and more, gathering nectar and pollen for her brood. A gentle rhyming read aloud with beautiful full color cut paper illustrations connecting flower to food, showing how so much of what we eat is made possible by these amazing, hardworking, and sometimes sleepy friends. Here at Blue Manatee Press, protecting and supporting our pollinators is really important to us. So we would like to partner with indie bookstores, libraries, and readers alike. We will be offering how, a how-to guide for creating your own pollinator way stations, which will be offered as a downloadable resource as well as directly offered to bookstores, librarians, and schools in event kits as requested. This could be a great way to interact with your community offering an outdoor activity this summer or planning ahead for next spring. And now I'd like to share with you our new titles releasing this summer and fall. Up first, we have the new hardcover picture book written by Deb Adamson and illustrated by Candace Hopsaw. Bing Bang Pling is a fun and charming look at a family using their tools, putting together a swing set in their own backyard. Twist the ratchet, clack, click, clack. Now a hammer, just one thwack. Join in on the excitement as a young girl helps her dad and mom build a swing set. Learn the names and sounds of the different tools and what they are used for, as each tool has a job to do. Celebrating the pride in a job well done, Bing Bang Pling is a charming ode to backyard fun. Jingle jangle, nuts and screws, count them out in ones and twos. Some key components for Bing Bang Pling include that it's perfect for little ones who are intrigued by building tools, and love to help their grown-ups with projects big and small. And now I'd like to share with you just a couple examples of some additional spreads in their text. Rear green rip, daddy finishes with a zip. Job is done, tools away, work has ended, now we play. The final spread in Bing Bang Pling will have each tool neatly labeled for identification, making for a fun learning exercise in identifying each tool with the action seen earlier in the book. Mr. Moth, written by Dr. John Hutton and illustrated by Sandra Gross, is that board book I mentioned a little while ago um, as part of our Pollinator series. It's a companion title to Sleepy Bee and Mama Monarch and is intended for ages zero to three. Many moths are important pollinators, taking over for the bees and butterflies to pollinate at night. In Mr. Moth, readers will be introduced to these colorful nocturnal pollinators through simple rhyming text and vibrant cut paper and watercolor illustrations, celebrating the wonder of moths while conveying early concepts like colors and opposites. All of our books in our Pollinator series, Mama Monarch, Sleepy Bee, and now Mr. Moth releasing this fall, are of course intended for the very little ones and their grown-ups uh, with the simple text, but on the back there you will see additional facts for grown-ups to expand on key facts about each of these pollinators and what we can do to help support them. And as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be making available how-to guides for creating your own pollinator way stations, which will be offered as a downloadable resource on our websites, or we can mail you uh, event kits as well. Up next, we have A Christmas Wish for Santa by Deb Adamson and illustrated by Ann Zemanski. This is a hardcover picture book intended for really the, the, our youngest readers, but can go up to as old as age eight. A Christmas Eve wish for Santa as he readies his sleigh tonight. May he and his crew be extra safe as they make their magical flight. As Santa makes his journey on Christmas Eve, readers can offer Santa a wish for glad tidings. With cheerful rhyming text and very rich illustrations, it's a delight to follow Santa on his many stops, highlighting what Christmas celebrations and traditions look like around the world, a whimsical celebration of all things jolly. 
as he travels to all the world's children who wake joyful and Christmas Day. It's worth noting that this book showcases what Christmas celebrations and traditions look like around the world. There will be a special section in the back of the book giving more details of the traditions featured in the story. And we think this will make the perfect gift to start a new Christmas Eve tradition. And now I'd like to share with you a couple extra spreads from A Christmas Wish for Santa so you can get another sneak peek at this wonderful artwork. Welcome Santa with decorations that twinkle like his eyes. Sweeten Santa's cookies and the milk to wash them down. And this spread is actually a really great example of some of those, ex those traditions from around the world that we wanted to make note of. Uh, in the back, you'll see from the Philippine tradition, the parole lantern, uh, which is really as popular there as it, the Christmas tree is popular here. And finally, I'd like to introduce you all to Blue Manatee Press's first ever cookbook. This is the cooking book for growing chefs, and this will be a part of a, uh, an ongoing series where each cookbook, their recipes will kind of grow with the child. This book we're starting out with is the Sprouts edition, which is intended for ages three to six. The cooking book for growing chefs Sprouts edition was written by Chef Francis Croner, illustrated by Asha Gross Hutton, with photos by Shay Narker. And this cookbook is, what I love about it so much is that it's so visual, um, again, for those sprouting chefs ages three to six and up, really, uh, the illustrated step-by-step, -step, simple, delicious, and healthy recipes created to, they're created to sp spark confidence and curiosity in the kitchen. And I'd like to just take a moment to point out in the, illust in the recipes, you'll see, again, those step-by-steps uh, visualizations of what each recipe is. So for those learners who maybe don't quite know how to read yet or are just visual learners in general, these recipes will be easy to follow and making them feel like they have some, you know, uh, power and control in the kitchen and can really help mom and dad out. The cooking book for Growing Chef Sprouts Edition will focus on foundational skills that are thoughtfully curated to include recipes with a variety of learned skills, including measuring, pouring, stirring, setting the table and cleaning up, and an introduction to safe cutting. Clear Steps offer instructions in simple terms and graphic illustrations for our budding readers to feel empowered to decipher what to do next. And not to mention guilt-free recipes. All of the recipes offer um, balanced, unfessy uh, meals and simple snacks and sweets that are savory, sweet, and healthy that the whole family will enjoy. The other really cool thing about this cookbook is there are lots of opportunities for lear learning beyond learning the recipes themselves. For example, we have this fun seek and find uh, with which offers an engaging skill building, encouraging young chefs to explore their own kitchen space. Can they find the spoon in their kitchen? Can they find the cookie sheet or baking tray in their kitchen, the rolling pin? You get the idea. The cookbook also offers clear labeling throughout, uh, so young chefs can feel empowered to take a role in the kitchen. This is a fun example of how kids can learn the proper way to set a place at the table, and I'm sure mom and dad won't mind that. The cooking book for Growing Chefs Sprouts Edition also includes fun and creative craft recipes, which make great gifts. Here you see the recipe for how to make dried orange garlands, but you'll also see recipes for soup mixes, um, ornaments, and other fun activities that, again, make great giftables. While you're here, I invite you to explore our booth. Definitely look around. We have digital review copies available for most of the books that were included in this presentation. Plenty of fun book trailers to watch. 
videos from authors like Chef Francis Croner and Dr. John Hutton. There's also a very sweet animated story time video for I Miss Your Sunny Smile, not to mention plenty of opportunities to win books. So definitely take some time and introduce yourself. Speaking of introducing yourself, I hope you'll consider following us. You can sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date on new book releases, author events, special promotions, and so much more. You can also follow us on social media. We're pretty much Blue Manatee Press everywhere, but we are B Manatee Press on Twitter. But we hope to see you. Thank you again for joining me as I shared with you our brand new titles. If you have any questions, I hope you'll reach out to us in the chat in our booth, or feel free to email me at amydean at bluemanatiebooks.com. Thank you so much.